hello guys welcome back to my channel this is the before picture of our fence and i'm going to show you how we're able to get it to look this beautiful so if you want to see how we transform this fence keep watching so we bought this sprayer it's a paint sprayer that we ordered online from amazon and it's the wegner paint sprayer and it's very nice because it's easy to navigate and it came with all of the parts and you didn't need any extra parts so I'm just taking them out here is the level for the spray paint and you can use it to spray your fence your deck your house your wall and it goes really fast yeah I think it retailed for about $200 I believe or I'm gonna leave a link down below where I got it from Amazon for you guys so this paint sprayer is was inspired by Tiff Diving so I decided to do it because I watched her video and I was so inspired that I decided to paint my fence so in this it has a handbook and it's very straightforward and it gives you all the directions and I'm going to go ahead and screw my the head of the sprayer and it's very easy to use like anybody can use this just by following the instructions and you know so when I put in my head sprayer I kind of like this Wegner hand sprayer is very good like anybody can use it like I told you guys it's very easy you follow the instruction you set it up and you're good to go so at the side you just have the on and off button and you also have where you prime it you turn it and you, you spray and you turn it and you prime on this side you turn when you turn it you, you are spraying it when you turn it back around you prime so I'm just going to go ahead and attach my hose to the bucket and it's very easy all you're gonna need is a uh, you're gonna need uh, some tools to be able to screw this together as you can see me do in the picture just a few tools and I already had those at home so I'm gonna use this to like tighten it up just to make sure it's nice and secure and yes guys I really like this bucket and it's easy to use like I told you and it's easy to clean too so I'm going to go ahead and prime it you want to prime it with water first so I will turn it on and I let it prime for a little bit as you can see the water dripping in is like going through and dripping in and I will turn it off it's really basic and really easy to use and I was really glad I purchased this item guys and you can see the water overflowing this is the paint I'm going to be using for this project and you can get any paint of your choice that's the good thing about this this paint sprayer is really really good because you can use any paint of your choice it doesn't matter which kind of paint you use it works really good and it's very easy to clean so I ordered I went to Home Depot and I got this paint and the paint is used for fencing. You can get any paint of your choice, depending on whatever you want to paint. You can also get a stain. So I went ahead and poured it into the bucket. That's how easy it is to use it. Then I'm going to make sure I seal my paint so it doesn't get dry. And then I'll put it to the side. Also went ahead and make sure I prime the paint so I'm using the bucket I'm going to tilt that little side as you see me doing then I'll prime the paint and you see the paint going into the bucket on the side and you want to do this process like every time you stop spraying, spraying the using the sprayer you should always come back and prime the paint that's the way the machine works so when you connect the sprayer to an electric circuit like you saw you see it in the picture you go ahead and spray the you go ahead and prime the paint and make sure you connect that head back into the bucket so it doesn't spill on the side 
Then now you're gonna test it to make sure it's going through the tube. So I'll turn it on, turn it to the spray, and then I'm going to go ahead and test, test it to make sure it's coming out. And there you go, it's coming out. So I'm just going to go ahead and attach my head sprayer. And so we are now ready and good to go with the spraying. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover my paint. Make sure you cover it really well so it doesn't dry up. And also make sure to always, always come back and add more paint. This is how the fence looks like before we started um, spray washing the fence. This is like the day before. And we spray wash the fence using this spray, um, this pressure washer. As you can see, that's my husband doing it. And you just use the pressure washer to like clean the fence because the fence is dirty. It looks like it's not dirty, but it was really dirty. This is the pressure washer I use. And we got this from Home Depot. You can get it from Lowe's or Home Depot. I think my husband got this from Lowe's, I believe. Yes, he got it from Lowe's. And he, he just went ahead and pressure washed the fence for the very first day. And that's all he's doing. As you can see, the before and the after picture. Look at the after picture. And this is the fence getting dry. And he's still pressure washing the fence as we go. It was a beautiful, bright day. And the fence was drying just as he washed the fence. And that's him over there almost done washing the fence using this pressure washer. You cannot skip this step. This is the most important step. If you skip this step, then your paint is not going to stick or your stain. Some people might want to use stain to stain their fence. So make sure you do this. Now he went ahead and plucked on the spray paint and he's like testing it to see how it's going and he's just spraying with the very first coat and it's very easy as you can see him doing he just go make sure your hand is at 90 degrees make sure you follow the instructions so make sure you keep your hand steady and keep it at 90 degrees and that's my husband just spraying the fence and it literally took him just like 30 minutes to do that so he uses a cardboard at the bottom to protect the ground because we are going to be planting some things on the we are going to be planting some vegetables on the ground so we protect the soil with the a cardboard paper that's me trying to see how i can also do it and i found it very interesting it gave me some good workout and i used the board to protect the ground and this was really a workout for me and I later on gave my husband to finish up with it because I had to go take care of the baby. So all you want to do is put it at an angle of 90 degree and you go like up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And that's him spraying the fence going all the way. We decided to go with the white color because I wanted the backyard to brighten out. So that's why I went with the bright color. So you can also get another paint and they just like it stain and they can stain the paint white. If you don't want this kind of paint, you can always get another paint. You can always change the color as you want, but I decided to go with white. So my husband right now is just going in, but the paint has been dried for, let it dry for about two hours or so. And then he came back to like do finishing touches and kind of close the area. Right now, I'm just washing my paint. We finished painting and what I want to do is very hot water with soap and I kind of like let it sit in there and I make sure I wash everything and spray it out and even turn the soapy water into the bucket and let it wash out, like wash out the paint. Just let it sit for a little bit and it's going to wash out all the paint. So you just have to be patient with this process. And this is the most important part. If you don't wash it, then next time you might not be able to use it. So my husband went ahead and also like munched the ground with the cultivator because we had to plant some vegetables. So we are, we are, we are trying to renovate the whole backyard and I'm glad he's really helping. He did 100%. He did like 80% of the work. So I give him all the credits and I will also help out, but he did most of the work. So after putting the ground, we went ahead and kind of like 
like smoothing it out and then we also wanted to plant some nice vegetables that's why we did not plant the flowers normally we would have planted flowers but we wanted to plant our vegetables that will save us a purpose so that's why we went ahead and instead of planting flowers we just planted some vegetables and what is a good fence without a nice flower around it so i went ahead and i did this diy if you want to see a video how i did these flowers you can leave a comment down below and let me know and i will let you guys i'll link a video on how i did these flowers so i went ahead and decorated the fence this is the next day when the fence is nice and dry so guys decorating is one of my passions that i really like to do so this is the before picture and this is the after picture and i'm so glad how this project turned out this is the after picture it's so good and clean and bright and i love it so i added the flowers just to make it look beautiful because we didn't want to get without some flowers so as you can see we have our huckleberry green and we're gonna eat that so we wanted to make use of the space and the fence looks awesome and i will recommend this sprayer if you want to see a video how i made this flower please leave a comment down below and i will link the video and yeah guys it turned out really well and i'm so happy i was able to brighten up the backyard and make it look beautiful as compared to the way it used to look before and the bag here really looks way way better as you can see guys it looks so good and i think the sprayer i will recommend it to anyone who wants to change their fence and make it look nice and beautiful